It's time for the monthly market update. You need to stay informed in order to make the most intelligent decisions. You need to have the information in order to do that. And this is it. The median price homes here in Savannah, Georgia is up to $338,000. But the average, okay, people get confused between median and average. The average is $408,000. Averages, this is one of those statistic things. Averages can be a little bit confusing and misleading because the average in, in Savannah, as you can see, is what is that, $70,000 more than the median price. But the average is skewed in this case because when, again, when you look at the data, there are six or seven properties on the market for $20 million. Okay, so that could be 120 to 150, 160 million dollars for the real estate in just a handful, well, two handfuls of real estate. That's gonna push your average up tremendously, as you can see in this. And in this case, I would go by what the median says, not the average, and I'll do another video explaining the difference between the two. The price per square foot in Savannah has gone up to $187. New listings, that's new listings that are on the market, they are up to 1,383. Total homes for sale are 3,014. Pending sales are 915. Closed sales are up to 932. Monthly supply of homes is at 3.5. That's how many months of inventory we have, and that's still very low. Although it's up, it's still very low. Percentage of original price is 100%. That means that homeowners are getting 100% of their asking price for the homes that, they have, that they're selling. So there is no negotiation going on. If you put your house on the market, you're getting what you're asking for. So, the, so that's showing us that the, that the, the market is still very strong for, uh, for, for sellers and the buyers aren't getting too many good deals as far as negotiating. And then days on market are at 55. Now that has gone up, um, but 55 is still pretty low. Overall, the real estate market in Savannah is extremely stable. Prices continue to tick up a little bit, but are relatively flat. I think that's gonna stay the same going out into the future, the next three, four, five years, that things are gonna be extremely stable here in, in the Savannah real estate market. Uh, we still have a, short, a shortage of inventory, and we still have a large number of people looking to buy homes. And I think that's even going to, the, the number of buyers are actually going to jump up even higher and go a little bit crazy again when interest rates fall. And they're going to fall. It's just a matter of the Federal Reserve lowering the interest rates once inflation gets under control. And that could take another six, seven, eight months. Uh, been a lot more stubborn than people expected. But overall, the real estate market in Savannah is fantastic. If you'd like a copy of, of these uh, slides, and I also have, I have individual reports for d different areas. I've got one right here for Pooler, Tybee, and Chatham County, but I can print up any of those and send you a PDF in the comments below or, uh, or, or message me, um, whatever platform you're watching this on, uh, just leave the, uh, leave the word report in the, in the comments below or message me the word report and I'll, uh, I'll send you uh, a copy of these reports, all right? Uh, or, or a specific report. If you want a specific report for a specific area, I can do like Skidaway, Wilmington Island, uh, Georgetown, Richmond Hill. Um, the three I just have in my hand are Chatham County, Pooler, and Tybee Island, but I can do any one. So thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. Remember, stay informed. You, 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 the better you're informed, the better decisions you're gonna make.